Uh, girls, remember, look everyone over very carefully. Try to figure out who are the real guests and who are actors pretending to be guests. It'll help when it comes to solving the mysteries. Okay, Dorothy. If that's your real name. <laughs> How is that coffee? Terrific. Actor. <laughs> Blanche, you're wearing my earrings. Oh, I know that. But when I asked you before where they were, you said you didn't know, and now you're wearing them. Well, Rose, there could be two explanations. Either I was lying, or I was wrong about the number of explanations. <laughs> Blanche. Kendall. Blanche, I must commend you again. I have a feeling we're in for a weekend none of us is going to forget. Oh, I do declare. Your sweet words could charm the morning dew right off the honeysuckle. <laughs> <laughs> that was good, Blanche. Now do Br'er Rabbit. <laughs> I believe the fun is about to begin. Ladies? I think I got to him, don't you? Your eyes are as good as rolled back. I do believe that things are going to turn out even better than I... Oh, Kendall is sitting down with Posey McGlynn. She is my main rival for that assistant's job. Oh, look at the shameless way she's flirting with him. Disgusting. You flirted with him? I'm from the South. <laughs> flirting is part of my heritage. What do you mean? Her mother was a slut, too. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm sure we all join his son, his daughter, and his new bride, Candy, in wishing many returns of the day to our friend and patron for 40 years, Giles Forsythe. <laughs> ah! My God, they've been murdered. Does this mean we don't get any birthday cake? Please, nobody touch anything. My name is Spade Marlowe. I'm a private detective retained by the late philanthropist Giles Forsythe. Because when an 88-year-old man marries a 22-year-old girl, he likes to know what she's up to. I'm sorry to interrupt, but does anybody but me think the hat's a little precious? Today was Giles Forsyth's birthday, and he intended, as always, to celebrate by having dinner here with his son, Philip, a well-known collector of pre-Columbian artifacts, his spinster daughter, Gloria, and, of course, his new bride, Candy. I failed to protect my client, but I am determined, with your help, to solve these crimes and bring the murderer to justice. Maybe that bloody dagger will lead us to the murder weapon. St. Olaf? Boy, he is good. Unusual knife. Yeah, 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 cut the cake. I recognize that. It's a rare Mayan sacrificial dagger. That could prove to be significant. Undoubtedly, the weapon used to kill Mrs. Forsyth. But obviously, her husband was shot. Then there must be a gun. South side. Oh, Kenny. 